Well, the good doctors at Cincinnati Children's are finding a lot of excess calories, added sugars and salt in foods given to the children, our children, on their way home, specifically from daycare and school. Dr. Kristen Copeland with Cincinnati Children's is here to tell us about a new study and what we found. I mean, so it's, it's in the, the car ride. It's right at that moment where they're just get. is it like mom or dad just got off work and it's like, have a Twinkie, I got, I'm exhausted. <laughs> you know, or what, what is it? Yeah, so it's in that hour after pickup from childcare. So that yeah. could be in the car ride home. It could be at home first thing when they get home. But what we're finding is that children are eating uh, one fifth of their daily calorie intake in that hour. Wow. And that's about this, as much as a small meal. Uh -huh. uh, what's concerning is that they're eating about a third of their sugar and salty snacks during that same period. So the foods and beverages they're eating are not very healthy. I mean, is it, there's a certain amount of, I can remember getting off school and it was all I could do to get off the school bus and grab for whatever was quick and easy because is it the is it the stress that you're now coming down from you know the anxiety of the the school day what what do you think that is so there's a lot of things probably going on mm -hmm. um, so in particular this study looked at kids who are in child care so three to five year olds mm -hmm. um, and we know um, that at that time of day that they're getting picked up say if it's five they probably last day to snack around three so they're going to be hungry we also know that parents can be stressed in getting home from work or coming from school and that children can be stressed as well. Yeah. And so the focus is on let's have to get something fast. Um, but what, what, we, what we also know is that they're hungry so that they're going to eat whatever. Whatever is there. Right. Yeah, and we adults are no different. Right. If we, you know, they say prepare, plan, prepare, what is it? If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. You have to, it's like you have to cut up the apples and cheese and peanut butter, whatever it is, before the week starts, because once it starts, forget it. So what are some things that you suggest that parents have ready in the car yeah. for, the, for the trip to try to head this off? Yeah, I think there's a couple things to keep in mind about this. Um, one is that the children are hungry, yeah. so they're likely going to eat whatever you offer to them. So if that's a vegetable, a fruit, or protein, they're actually going to eat it. So this is an opportunity to get that part of their dinner in while maybe the parent is preparing the rest of the dinner. And then the other thing to keep in mind, particularly for this age group, is that children really like routines so they like yeah. getting up at the same time they like um, eating at the same time they like reading the same book they like eating the same foods day uh -huh. in and out they like the same routine they like to f they feel comforted by that so there's an opportunity to introduce something a healthy snack that they might be um, that they might eat and then the children may want to after after introducing it, they may come to expect that. Yeah. And then they want, they crave it. And you've introduced a healthy habit and voila, you know, that without is, too much work. That's a fantastic idea. And so maybe it's that, that apple or the little peanut butter pouch, you know, they have them now you can get that are kind of fun or whatever it is. Oh, very good. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Great. doctor, for coming on. Yes. Good reminder, good studies out of children's once again. Um, come back anytime. Thanks so much for having me. All right. Very good. All right, the Northern Lights were seen from the Tri-State over the weekend. We will show you some viewer picture submissions coming up next.